Excellencies, Sir George and Lady Lepping, Honorable Prime Minister, Mr. Francis Pirihiri, Mr. Speaker, Mr. Paul Tadur, Mr. Chief Justice, Mr. John Murray, Honorable Minister of Finance and National Authorizing Officer of the European Development Fund, Mr. Andrew Norrie, Honorable Ministers of the Sovereign Islands Government, His Excellency Mr. Ray Jones, British High Commissioner and President of the European Council in Southern Islands, High Commissioners and Members of the Diplomatic Corps, Your Grace, Archbishop Alison Pogo, Church of Melanesia, Honorable Members of Parliament, Representatives of Churches in Southern Ireland, Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. It gives me great pleasure to welcome you all this evening. May I thank you for joining us to celebrate Schumann Day, otherwise known as European Day. A lot has happened both here and in Europe since we held this reception two years ago in this same place. On that occasion, I explained the background of the creation of the European community and the role that Schumann played. Today, I would like to say something about the European Union and then reflect briefly on some of our activities in Solomon Islands. The European Union came into being following the ratification. I would like to ask His Excellency Sir George Lebing of the Solomon Islands to respond to the Honorable Speaker of our National Parliament of Solomon Islands, Honorable Chief Justice, Honorable Prime Minister, Ministers of the Crown, Members of our National Parliament, Mr. George Wyer, Delegate of the European Union, Members of the Diplomatic Corps, Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of Her Majesty the Queen, Queen Elizabeth II, Queen of Solomon Islands and her other reigns, and the head of the Commonwealth Nation, the government and people of the Solomon Islands, and on my own behalf, I wish to congratulate and join hands with the people and member countries of the European community in their celebrations to commemorate this very important day in the evolution of what was then the European Economic Community, now known as the European Union, an organization which today plays an important and crucial economic role for its members, but also for many third world developing states of Africa, Caribbean, and the Pacific. Solomon Islands appreciate the benefits it continues to receive from the European Union, which is the largest aid donor to the country. In this respect, may I take this opportunity to express our gratitude to the community's assistance in funding many important projects in Solomon Islands. At this gesture, I wish to also acknowledge in particular the assistance provided to Solomon Islands and the Lome 4 National Inventive Program. Through the government's overall development strategy, 70% of this assistance is the rural sector's development, especially in areas such as agriculture, forestry, rural fisheries, transport and infrastructure, rural health services, and of course, human resources development. To this end, I once again wish to express Solomon Islands government's and its people's appreciation for the European Union's economic contribution to the welfare and livelihood of our rural people, who make up about 80% of our population that's been estimated to be 360,000. At the regional level, Solomon Islands also benefited from the assistance provided by the European Union through the regional program, 
which covers natural resources and environment, transport and services, and the human resources development. I am confident that the European Union, through its delegations in Honiara, and Solomon Islands, through its mission in Brussels, will continue to work closely together to strengthen the vital and cordial relations which exist between them. And it, also, it is also my sincere hope that the European Union will remain a significant partner in infrastructure and overall economic development of Solomon Islands in many more years to come. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, it is now my pleasure and honor that I would like to desiccate May I now propose a toast to the European Union and the people of Europe. To the European Union and the people of Europe. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much.